Hello guys and welcome back to our informative time travel channel. In today's video we will tell you all about what you must know before traveling to Sintra. It's a town in Sintra mountains, about an hour from Lisbon. Magical palaces complement its hilly forested landscape. How to get to Sintra? It's not advisable to drive to Sintra because parking is very difficult. Instead, take the train from Lisbon. Trains run regularly from Lisbon's Rossio train station. The Viva Via Gem card is a convenient way to travel around Lisbon and take trips outside of Lisbon. It costs 50 euro cent and you can top it up at any ticket machine. It saves you time and gives you a discount. After you buy your tickets, the journey from Lisbon to Sintra on an Urbana train takes approximately 40 minutes. A top tip. If you're heading to Sintra and want to make the most of your visit, go early. Otherwise, you'll spend a lot of time waiting in lines, guys. And by the time you get in, other nearby attractions will be closed. To avoid crowds, aim to catch an early train to Sintra, ideally before 9 a.m. Upon arriving in Sintra, head straight to catch the bus. It's straightforward to find. Exit the station, turn right and see the bus stop. To save money and travel easily in Sintra, take the tourist buses 434 and 435. You can buy a bus ticket from the driver. Taxis and tuk-tuks offer tours at the exit, which is convenient if your budget allows. While you can walk to the attractions in Sintra, consider the time. The distance may seem short on the map, but it involves a steep 45-minute hike, especially to places like the Pena Palace. If you have only a day in Sintra, saving time and taking the bus is better. Take the 434 bus directly to the Pena Palace without stopping at Sintra's historic center or the Moorish Castle. That way you will avoid long lines at the Pena Palace. When you arrive at Pena Palace, you'll need to buy an entry ticket. We thought a line we saw was to enter the palace, but it was actually for ticket purchase. Next, you either hike up a hill or take a tram to reach the palace, where there is another line to get inside. To save time, we suggest buying ticket online in advance to bypass the ticket purchase line, reducing your weight to just the entrance line. This can save you hours of waiting. Once you are inside, you'll admire the architecture. The castle is a mashup of several architectural styles, ranging from romantic to gothic to Arabic. This mix of styles and colors probably shouldn't work, but somehow it does. Guys, the outside view are considered to be the highlight. After visiting Pena Palace, explore the green surroundings. Then catch the 434 bus back to Sintra town for lunch. After some food, consider visiting the Sintra National Palace, which is recognizable by its two large conical chimneys. The Sintra National Palace is more casual than the Pena Palace, but the inside is beautiful. It has colorful tiles and painted ceilings. After that, head to Quinta de Regalera. It's a beautiful estate with a big old house and huge gardens. You can reach the place by taking the 435 bus route, but it's also just 15 minute walk from Sintra town. Most of the walk is flat, so I suggest walking if possible. In there, you'll find the spiraling well. You can go down the stairs to the bottom and leave through a hidden tunnel. 
After exploring the gardens, return to Sintra town. You can take the 434 bus back to the train station or walk which takes about 15 to 20 minutes and is mostly flat or downhill. The Moorish castle resembles a smaller version of the Great Wall, stretching across the Sintra hills with its towers. Did you enjoy our guide to Sintra? Please hit subscribe for more. Tell us your favorite part in the comments. We'll catch you on our next adventure. Bye!